Government strong policy hashtag a trendy. President and other Danko Kufado and uh retreaty government commitment to providing strong policy support to firm up economic recovery and economic revitalization. Na or Kasa Ewa the eleventh Ghana Economic Forum, a year and ra in a see President Eka say. The policy support will reposition and improve business competitiveness for future growth and enable businesses to leverage emerging opportunities such as those introduced by the African Continental Free Trade Area, AFCFTA, and Nasebu Mukano Aftano. I quote Asimo Kayo, see these supportive policy measures and regulations will also position Ghana as a competitive destination for other African businesses and investors. I am sure the seasoned panelists gathered here will delve into some of these issues on business competitiveness, regulatory policies and financial innovation during the sessions. And quote into Okasa and Semwena a speech or day esuma public enterprises minister Joseph Kujo Emaniko Jumedina say Ekokai Emano Uma Yenti and Sema President Edisuma Joseph Kujo. Mr Chairman Looking ahead, we will continue to provide strong policy support to firm, up the growth to firm up the growth recovery and economic revitalization. All these policies and structural reforms aim to reposition and improve business competitiveness for future growth and enable businesses to leverage emerging opportunities, such as those introduced by the African Continental Free Trade Area. These supportive policy measures and regulations will also position Ghana as a competitive destination for the African businesses and investors. Here we are straight to another hashtag SMEs. Professor of Finance at the University of Ghana, Goffred Bokpin, has argued that small and medium scale enterprises cannot contribute to the country's economic transformation until there is a deliberate investment into that space. Or say, there is a conscious effort in growing some of the SMEs to become global regional businesses. Their effort would not yield much result until these are done. Or say, um, our leaders who are mostly politicians have failed to grow the private sector and SMEs for that matter because they are afraid of a powerful domestic private sector. Let me ask you, in this country, it, is, it has never been our goal to grow and nurture domestic private capital in the same way we love foreign capital. We are here. Let's ask ourselves. Let's ask ourselves, okay, where did we sit with domestic Ghanaian private sector and say that this is what we have? Where do you think, why can we support you? We are always here deceiving ourselves about SMEs, SMEs. SMEs don't transform an economy. SMEs don't produce complex things. The world thrives on margins. Margins come by adding value. So you see the phone you are holding. There are so many install features you are not using, but you paid for it. Somebody has to add those things so they can add margin. Until we are conscious about growing some of our SMEs for some of them to become regional, global businesses, we are not going anywhere. Pick the lucrative sectors of this economy. Ghana is visibly absent. We are visibly absent. So, Empty Ghana absenteeism was seminar or canoe. If one of my can of a reata aging air trend did in the end, yeah, and ran in your same kitua in so as I ate a goose or a car home. Now say, now I say my mouth for a canoe. I say, Yanko Ponce, Mate. I guess some members of the new patriotic party are more parliament and not almost say, Aye, 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 president. So once I click on for your attend any or chine ya, I just be your parliament to hano. Wanga sa obi feeling. Na MPs no omu fi majority caucus and I omu say Mr. Furiata, and then the Minister of State, um, aye Charles Edubuahe, omu ena enyama entry ye wamai mu esikase mu ni na ano 
no more to swear. It was uncle Moshe Emma Bibia Koye, and they have created a mess of the economy. Now, no more members of the press, a Kasa Enna or Mo Eka, and say a almost spokesperson, Andy Apia Kubi, as a president, yes, real. Ma Wokaze, no, and for Nijuma and to ho, no uncle. And yes, I dear, our parliament fear, I dear. Would you be be a better to her and your dear best support too? I quote as a mom can pepper must say we have had occasions to defend allegations of conflict of interest, lack of confidence, trust against the leadership of our finance ministry. The recent development within our economy is of great concern to the greater majority of members of our caucus and our constituents. We are by this medium communicating our strong desire that the president change the minister of finance and the minister of state in the finance ministry without further delay to restore hope to the financial sector and reverse a downward trend of the growth of the economy and quotes Muma the parliament of ghana and we here so present present a, a greater number of the said caucus my name is andy apia kubi and i am only here as spokesperson for the majority group without more. We have had occasions to defend allegations of conflict of interest, lack of confidence, trust against the leadership of our finance ministry. The recent developments within our economy are of great concern to the greater majority of members of our caucus and our constituents. We have made our grave concern to the president through the parliamentary leadership and the leadership of the party without any positive response. We are by this medium communicating our strong desire that the president change the minister of finance and the minister of state in the finance ministry without further delay in order to restore hope into the financial sector and reverse the downward trend in the growth of the economy. The summary of our concerns lead, leads to a plea that the Minister of Finance, Honorable Kenneth Ufuriata, and the Minister of State of uh, the Ministry of Finance, Honorable Charles Edubwahi, be removed from office. We pray that this prayer will be carried to the presidency. We thank you very much for showing concern to us. We want to serve notice. And notice is hereby served that until uh, such persons, as aforementioned, are made to resign or removed from office, we, members of the majority caucus here in parliament, will not participate in any business of government by or for a president by any other minister. We hope that those of us on the back bench and members of the majority caucus will abide by this prayer. We are saying that if our request is not responded to positively, we will not be present for the budget hearing, neither will we will participate in the debate. Thank you very much. Yeah. And, you know, we doing it. Comment by no AB and your Kwame says sucking can offer at an Edubuan and it's not enough. The entire EMT needs to be dissolved. Governors of Bank of Ghana must be sacked as well. Their crass incompetence have led us here. Hashtag save Ghana now. Why always echo? Say, see, Ken is not going anywhere. We started with him, we must finish with him. Saga, I stand with Ken. Daniel JM say, well done. This is all we ask from you, the politicians, to be truthful and put politics aside. This action you've taken, I am proud of you. Next should be the president himself and let build a new Ghana. I say the Emmanuel, the Rose is a kudos to the majority. You've proven that at least there is still hope for democracy in this country. Adams Nuhu Adu say, the best person to resign if you want to be honest to yourselves is the president. Nuela Alice Zuberville say, at least for once, we should congratulate the majority in parliament. One step at a time, things will change someday. Richard Anson Debra says, smart people, they are protecting their seat in 2024. Ha ha ha. Nanaba said, this is why I still vote for MPP. At least 
they listen to Ghanaians, not ye and Tiobia people. And Tiaha, and a day trends, you know, ABC Asame.